Greetings and salutations, loyal viewers of this channel. My name is Sean, and today we got to talk about what is going on in the Bay Area. Yes, this is a twofer, San Francisco and the city of Oakland, with these street takeovers, sometimes referred to as sideshows, or if we're in the city of Chicago, group gatherings is what they're called, because Brandon Johnson over there doesn't want you to ever label crime crime, because that would be evil white racism. But in this particular case, we got to talk about the businesses finally saying that they've had enough trying to fight back because one of the things that you might not know about these street takeovers is that when they cause damage to the neighborhoods the city of San Francisco and the city of Oakland all of a sudden can enforce the law they can crack down they can send a police response to the business owners they find them they cite them they ticket them for the damage done to their buildings by criminals. No, I'm not kidding about this. And this is why businesses have had enough. We're going to get into this. We're going to break this down. But before we do, thank you to everybody who supports this channel via actualjusticewarrior.com slash join. Oh, give me the money. Give you give me the money. Okay. We are zeroing in right now on the Bay Area's sideshow problem. We're talking about the wild street scenes like the one that happened along San Francisco's Embarcadero right there last month. The cars, the crowds, the chaos. And this past weekend in Oakland, five people shot. Even when people aren't hurt, it's neighbors who are left to clean up all the damage. So right there, you get an intro about these sideshows in San Francisco, in Oakland. It comes from a local affiliate that covers the Bay Area. And they talk about incidents where, of course, course there's damage there's cars being set on fire but of course things get escalated in the city of Oakland shots were fired five people were hit and yet neither city is cracking down on this and the reason why is because state law in California basically makes it impossible to hold any of these criminals accountable because they can't go to prison because technically these are non-violent offenses the sideshow portion of it so that only leaves the county jail but as we've discussed on this channel time and time again the county jails are full, so even in instances like the one I love highlighting with the snake burglar, where you have somebody convicted of 75 plus felonies, they end up getting sent to the county jail, there's no room, so it's essentially an automatic release. So the lack of consequences is leading to these sideshows, leading to these street takeovers, but it turns out there are consequences because Alameda District Attorney Pamela Price, who doesn't want to prosecute anyone for anything, the city of Oakland and the city of San San Francisco that are truly soft on crime have found the real culprit and that is the businesses that are being damaged by these street takeovers. Brick facade here look just like the other side. Between the broken bricks, a boarded up window and this notice posted on the plywood. Unsafe building is the violation. It says to obtain a permit within 60 days. All work completed within 90 days. John McDonald looks at what may be the last straw to a long history of running his bike shop Market Street Cycles. Imagine this. Imagine you are setting up shop in one of these cities. We'll take San Francisco because that's where this particular incident took place. There's a street takeover. You call 911. The police don't respond. They don't do anything. These people are allowed to spin their cars around for hours and hours and hours in the middle of the night keep people up and then they smash into your building they cause significant damage to your property the one that you run your business out of this is how you feed your family and then again you report it to the police you say that you want justice you want them to make an arrest so maybe just maybe you can get a civil judgment against the perpetrators who obviously are very likely to have auto insurance maybe they stole a car so there is no auto insurance and that way you can be made hole from this particular incident so the police comes out the government officials they surveyed the situation and they decide that they're going to cite you as a criminal they're going to say that your building is too dangerous because a car smashed into it and you have 90 days in order to fix it 30 days in order to contract somebody out but it has to be done the work has to be completed by 90 days otherwise you will face additional fines you absolute scumbag business owner the unbelievable part is not that they that they happen it's that they're not they're not policed better he um, says enforcement needs to top. step up significantly um, so it, because he and others are fed up i think impoundment and confiscation of the cars would be the, the first step if it's a stolen car then you get charged with a stolen car <laughs> 
It's not, it's not rocket science. You know, I find it a bit funny, but way more sad that this guy brings up the most common sense solution that you could possibly imagine, which is you get cited for these particular things. Your car gets towed for this poor behavior. And if it's a stolen car, you should be arrested for engaging in these sideshows with a stolen car. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. But instead, the city of San Francisco has decided that this guy is responsible, that he needs to pay the bill. And again, Again, they will crack down on him with the full force of government despite the fact that he was victimized in this particular scenario. Um, the only thing for sure which has empirical evidence is if you do nothing about it, it not only doesn't stop, it grows larger and larger in scale and to, up until the point where they're stopping traffic on the Bay Bridge to have their little car parties. The rest of us get to deal with the fallout from that. Again, has there ever been a more sane and sober-minded person in the city of San Francisco? He just breaks it down. Look, the thing that's not working in this particular scenario, if you're not paying attention, is not doing anything. That causes what we like to call escalation. And now we're at the point where these absolute dopes are taking over the San Francisco Bridge, the Golden Gate Bridge, most famous bridge in the entire world, and that is just allowed to be a thing that happens in the city, in the Bay Area, and the police don't do anything about it. But you know what? If you got your property damaged by these criminals, if you weren't doing anything, if you were just trying to run a legitimate business, guess what? You're subject to fines, you're subject to fees, you're subject to all of the criminal consequences because because honestly, what were you thinking leaving your nice building in this particular area, you absolute scumbag? The problem with illegal sideshows has grown big enough that more than a dozen law enforcement agencies, including SFPD, Oakland PD, San Jose PD, Antioch PD, Fremont PD, CHP, and more, are now banding together to figure out regional solutions ways they can collaborate to crack down on this problem. You know, for some reason, all of those different departments being laid out as working together for a regional solution against these sideshow street takeovers, whatever you want to call them, does not warm my heart in any way, shape, or form. Because, spoiler alert, you don't need all these different agencies on a task force working together, interlocking and sharing intelligence in order to crack down on these. They're live streamed on social media. When they're being formed, when people are gathering in the groups, send in the police and arrest everyone. Arrest everyone behind the vehicle and anybody who doesn't leave in the crowd. You can also put them in jail, sentence them to prison sentences. The other guy had it right, impound their vehicles. And then all of a sudden, you will discover magically that this kind of crap will stop. This idea that you need an intelligence operation to figure this out is absurd. They're setting up on the Golden Gate Bridge. You know where that is. It's the most famous bridge in the world. Send the police over there, have them arrest them, problem solved. Oh, and P.S., if you guys are unaware, it doesn't stop at arrest. After you make the arrest, you then pursue those cases. You try them, you find them guilty, and you send them to prison. A couple of prison sentences for the street takeovers, and wouldn't you know it, they'll be gone. Wouldn't you know it, things will return back to normal. It is no coincidence that as soon as we put in all the these soft on crime pieces of legislation as soon as black lives matter ended up crippling police forces around the country that this became the norm that this became something that's typical so yeah that's what you have to do it's not hard san jose pd is spearheading the effort i think with sideshows kind of like organized retail theft we have to collaborate across jurisdictions hey mayor matt mahan or however your name is pronounced I think you're an idiot. I, Sean Fitzgerald, at the Actual Justice Warrior channel, believe that you, the mayor of San Jose, are an absolute moron. You do not have to collaborate with all these different departments. If they're in your vicinity, if they're in your jurisdiction, you arrest them. A-R-R-E-S-T. Arrest. Then you put them on trial. T-R-I-A-L. I will send the definitions to your assistant so they can explain this to you even more simply, but the idea that it takes all of these different groups teaming up in order to break these down is absurd. That guy in San Francisco that's running the bike shop, the one that's being fined because one of these cars crashed into their window, that guy knows what to do. That guy understands the situation. That guy gets what's going on. Why can't you get it? You're a damn elected official. They're not just disruptive. We see a lot of other illegal activity at these side shows. We see uh, people discharging firearms. We've had vehicles fly into people's businesses or uh, you know, living rooms at three in the morning. 
We've had people killed. Oh, have you? Have you seen some firearms going off? Have you seen the vehicles fly into people's businesses and living rooms at 3 o'clock in the morning? Now, let me ask you something, Mayor of San Jose. When that happened, what, what did you do in response to that? Did you arrest the people? Did you tow away the cars? Did you try them? Did you send them to prison? Did you freaking print their names in the newspaper, show their faces to shame them, shame their families, shame everybody associated with them? Or did you find the homeowners? Did you find the businesses because their building was suddenly unsafe due to incidents that could not have been foreseen? You're an absolute idiot in every way. And honestly, I don't know anything about you. I'm going to be perfectly honest. Other than the fact that you're a buffoon, you should be out of office. You're talking nonsense. But trust me, order your police commissioner to go arrest these people and you will be shocked at how few of these actually happen. I would say at least they're talking about it. At least the right words are coming out of their mouth. McDonald hopes the cities put their money where their mouth is. But in the meantime, I don't want to leave like this. I would like to leave on my own terms. Thank you, Bicycle Man, the voice of reason for a generation, the last sane man in San Francisco for stating the obvious. And by the way, the bill that he has for the damage done to his place by these criminals, $50,000. With upwards of $50,000 worth of damage and question marks about how that'll get paid for, he's figuring out if he has a future here. I'm not a big charity guy to be on this end of it. Uh, but I have relented this time around and I'm letting folks help. Um, it's a brand new thing, but if you look for Market Street Cycles on social media, you will certainly see links to it. Look, I appreciate this man. His sanity got me through this segment as I listen to each and every other idiot talk about this throughout the course of it as if there's nothing that can be done. He laid it out pretty simply, pretty straightforward. So I am going to link his GoFundMe, which is currently at $10,000 of the $50,000 goal if you want to support him. I understand if you can't afford it or if you're not interested that's totally fine it's for the people that actually want to do that ajw sends his regards to this individual and again Thank you so much, John, from Market Street Cycles for actually talking some sense to the local news as I hear the mayor talk about all this nonsense. The San Jose Police Department is leading this effort. The department says we are dealing with violent mob mentality events that demonstrate pure lawlessness. Recognizing that this issue extends beyond our city's boundaries, we have established a Bay Area working group to meet regularly with the objective of identifying comprehensive solutions. So according to the local news, the San Jose Police is leading this interagency task force on this particular issue but if i'm being perfectly honest that statement does not make me feel better sure this is a violent thing and we need to break it up and we need to take it seriously that's all good stuff in the first half of the segment but we are meeting with the bay area to form a working group to discuss starting to have a conversation about shutting down these street takeovers they should have been shut down immediately you let the problem get out of hand and you need to make arrests you also need to go to state lawmakers and and change those laws so repeat offenders can go to prison. You should go to prison for this. It's not hard, but again, we hear all this absurdity in California, bureaucratic red tape, that even when they say that they're trying to do something, it's always about starting a conversation about maybe thinking about discussing whether or not we're going to talk about if we're going to do something in the future. Enough is enough. You're finding business owners for the criminals crashing into their businesses. I I think the problem has gotten sufficiently out of hand but you know what those are just my thoughts let me know your thoughts down in the comments below if you like the video show them by leaving a like subscribe for more content follow me on the social medias support me via the support links in the description of this video this has been me talking about the insanity in california till next time